Okay, more than a few of you have asked me how to grow quote unquote magic seeds. We had to call this Jack and the Beanstalk experiment, uh, except for real, right? Now here we have a uh, 2 inch by 2 inch by uh, 1 inch neodymium iron boron uh, lattice uh, magnet. It's uh, N50 gauss. These used to be pretty expensive. Chinese uh, basically control all the neodymium in the world. There's tons of it in the United States. But the idiot government of the United States doesn't like the uh, the environmental hippies don't like us to mine anything like you know rare earth metals like neodymium. So essentially, Americans are all the whole world is slaves to uh, China when it comes to getting uh, neodymium for making uh, neodymium magnets. But uh, what it is on every mag doesn't matter if it's square or not. The field is always circular. Okay. Just like water, it doesn't matter if water comes out of a square hose or a round hose, it'll eventually, you know, puddle and pool into a circle. It's the same thing with divergent to magnetism. The field is always circular inside the magnet. Um, but if you actually take a Gauss meter, you can see it. Here you have a centripetal point of the uh, returning magnetism from the other side or the other pole. But what I do is I'll actually put the seeds in a little paper packet. A um, couple teaspoons, like on the uh, on the uh, the seeds here, and I'll stick them in a little paper packet, and I'll fold it up and put a little piece of tape on it. What I'll do is I'll lay that little uh, packet, which is about as long as a cigarette, and most of the way, and about oh, half an inch long, and I'll lay it along one of the edges. Right, I'll just tape it there. I only need to leave it there for a few hours, and that's the experiment that I'm doing currently. So just three or four hours. Uh, some of the larger seeds require you know, a few more hours of uh, placement on the centrifugal edge of the magnet. Of course, first you need to check, like here I've got it marked, this is a south pole. This is the north pole. So what I'm doing is I'm laying the seed packet right along this because I don't want to put it here. I do never want to put it on the side because uh, that totally affects things. The actual uh, field here of the dielectric inertial plane, you have uh, intersecting uh, polarities actually uh, reciprocating partially the intermediate pressures of, uh, and you like I said you could check this. This is not my premise. You can actually see this, not see it, but you can actually read it out with a Gauss meter. You have a high Gauss meter at the centripetal point. It gets weak and it gets really, really, really strong. The strongest point is right at the edge of every pole, quote unquote, of every magnet, right here. And so that's where you tape your seeds at, right there. A few hours. You can also do uh, seed exposure during growth and it's a little bit more radical by 30 percent what I'll do is I'll put this underneath a plate to like tape it on there so it doesn't move and then here I'll have my jar and I'll actually prop it up like this okay see I've got the jar marked red for North Pole and here's this so I've just got it propped up a little bit we'll put a cloth underneath here to prop it up and I'll grow them underneath here like this right now I'm not doing growth underneath the magnet this is seed only exposure and I did three hours of exposure of uh, alfalfa alpha seeds which is what we're growing in this experiment results are always the same so a lot of you people have asked that question and there's the answer and remember it doesn't matter what shape the magnet is the f divergent and convergent centrifugal and centripetal fields are the same. It doesn't matter if you have a pyramid magnet looking top down like this. The field is always the same. The magnetic field right there, that would be our centrifugal boundary pressure, max pressure in Gauss. And here would be our centripetal right there. So it doesn't matter if it's a pyramid shaped magnet or a you know, a, a cube-shaped magnet like this one. Like I so said, these now are, I think they're 38 or 40 bucks. Uh, remember, these are all ceramic, by the way. If you drop them, they'll break. You know, it's not like a big hunk of steel or something, so they will break. Uh, these are insanely powerful. If you dare get two of these close, and like you get your fingers like this, oh man, you're so f f f f fooked. You're so fooked. Don't even dare get them close together. They're insanely powerful. They will hurt the piss out of you. And uh, once when I wasn't looking, I uh, was distracted by somebody. And boy, I got hurt. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Another video for the photographer. And I'll keep doing the seed experiment. And I'll show you the end results at the end, okay?